Right Reverend and Worshipful Husband, I recommend me to you, desiring heartily to hear of your welfare, thanking God of your amending of sore injury and wounding in battle. And I thank you for your letter and for the things that you sent me therewith. I have requested another image in wax of the weight of you of St Barbara at Hales and I sent eight shillings to the monks there to pray for you. And I have gone on pilgrimage to St Barbara and to St Chad at Litchfield for you. By my troth, I have never so heavy a season as I had from the time that I was told of your sickness till I was told of your amending and return to health and that mine heart is in no great ease, nor shall be, till I am told that you are very whole. I have sent it to London for cloth of Stanford cloth, to make of a gown for me. I pray you, it be not bought, and you will come to London anon, that you will buy it and send it home as soon as you may. For I have no gown to wear this winter, but my black and my green, and this is so cumbrous that I am weary to wear it. John Winter's man rode here with a letter from him and a charge for wine sent from Gascony on your instruction. He has sent to me for you a letter of payment for eight marks payable in London on the eve of St Michael and yet I know nothing of receiving wine. John at the Oak sent to me and saith that he dare not go out of his house, for Lord Dudley has a suit in law against him. He is threat that if he may be got, he shall be led to prison. John is so afeared that his dread maketh him so sick that his death is likely to be his only comfort. I pray you that you will purvey a remedy for him, that he may go at large, for it hurteth both your cattle and your pasture, as it lieth all open, and he may not go abroad to do his mending. And your sheep are not looked after, as they should be, for there is no shepherd but his son William. Almighty God have you in his keeping, and send you health. Written at Bromwich, in great haste, on the eve of St Lawrence. Yours, Sarah Deveris. My sister greeteth you well, and sendeth you God's blessings, and hers, and she prayeth for you. And I pray also, that ye be well dieted of meat and drink, for that is the greatest help that ye may have now for your mending.